I would probably argue with the premise of that question. I do think there's a lot of contestation going on still. Look at Egypt, for instance, where the Muslim Brotherhood faced a lot of pushback. So uh, even in Lebanon and elsewhere, I mean, the religious parties are not necessarily, um, uh, you know, completely dominant everywhere without contestation. That is why they result, resort to violence very often, I would say. The reason why you had so many Muslim reformists assassinated or silenced or exiled is precisely because their arguments were strong and because the other side, the religious fundamentalists, would be afraid of them. And if, you, if you're not afraid of, of your opponent, you won't censor him or you won't kill him, right? So I don't think, th I wouldn't necessarily say they're unopposed, but I would also say that in the context of insecurity, which is reigning across the Middle East, um, especially in civil war contexts where the state is completely collapsed, such as in Syria and Iraq and elsewhere, of course, then the, you know people resort back to their family and, and sect and kin, and that is a story that's been told many times.